Hello, ladies and gentlemen. If you thought last week we're going to start off insane after what happened, we're going to start off strong with a tag team belt this week in the Titans Arena. First match on the card is Red Diamond with Hyde and Colby Ashley. We'll be facing on Camino and Kenny Douglas in the tag team open belt. but Kenny Douglas counters and he escapes the head scissor. Obviously, of course, the main event of the evening will be the Women's Knockouts World Championship between Erwin Shaw and Jackie Yamashita. I hope you enjoy the main event when it arrives this week on an SW. Oh, wait a minute. Is Kenny Douglas trying to attack Mira Taito? Well, he succeeded, but gets caught in a dragon suplex. Shinra Kobayashi. Now, Shinra Kobayashi has been in NSW from almost the beginning, since 2018. He started off as a singles wrestler, and then his tag team partner, Rio Taito, showed up, and they've become a tag team ever since. What oh, a nice exploding suplex by Kobayashi. Rio Taito, again, the official referee here. Oh, sorry, Kagazu. A lot of wrestlers' names are keep pushing lately. Now, Kenny Douglas in full control here. Irish whips to the insane corner. Oh, a strong kick there. Gets caught in the counter. And Irish whip back to the Red Diamonds corner. Tags in Kenny Douglas and look at that. Oh, nice close on there by Kenny Douglas. And let's not forget their former NSW TV Tag Team Champions. So they're no strangers to high matches. Nice crucifix pin by Kenny Douglas there. Bruce McCann. And only on one counts is Cogginson. Right, Tatso is struggling a little bit. He got cocky. Back suplex there by Taito. Kenny Douglas really should rethink his game plan after that one. Carino trying to give him a bit of moral support, but I don't know if that's going to succeed or not. Snap there, take down. And now with a head scissor. Oh, went on. I think Kenny Douglas is yet escaping. I guess he didn't want his mohawk ruined. behind Insane Inc, to be honest. I mean, I get it, they're punk rock stars, I get it, but... They've not really won a lot of matches here on this W lately. And Taito dragging him to the Red Diamonds corner, tags in Kobayashi. Terry York watching on, obviously founded the faction. The faction of two, she calls it. Kobayashi's got something in mind. High risk, maybe. What a shot from drop kick from the top rope. And Kobayashi using the knee strikes to probably rattle Kinney's brain. Now going for the hammerlock. What's he think? Oh, thermal clutch. Oh, yanking it back. Oh, Jesus. That will do some damage. 
Oh, great counter to snap there. Nicely done by Kenny Douglas. Goes behind for back, oh, back suplex, nicely done. Surprisingly, no covers yet. Uh oh, this is not good. Oh, that is a nasty strike. And now Kenny Duck has seen stars. I think the Red Diamonds have the advantage here. Oh, this can't be good. Double hip toss and a strong stereos of kicks there by the Red Diamonds. And now Kenny Douglas looks like he's a punching bag right now. Oh, and a stomp to the head by Rio Taito. Kenny counters. I don't think he had a choice. Tantorino Ishimori. Oh, wait a minute. Double super kick to the face. Now goes the cover. Only a one count says Kogazu. Now, Karina Ishimori is probably one of the longer wrestlers here. W. Oh, wait a minute, what's Taito got in mind? Oh, face buster there from Rio Taito. Surprisingly, he didn't go for the cover. What are you doing, pandering to the crowd? Oh, no. Oh, God, the triangle choke on. Oh, boy. This is going to be there. Obviously learned some MMA with Kobayashi because this is a very MMA thing to do. Because in the past you wouldn't say he was an MMA wrestler, but now it looks like he's succeeded. A victory for the Red Diamonds. An insane belt for the triangle so cold. Well, what a way to start a tag team belt here. Must be very pleased with the two wrestlers in the Red Diamonds faction. Probably the impressive win Rio Taito has done so far in his career in this W, despite the double super kicks in the head. Oh, look at that face blast. Let's move on to the next match card here this week on NSW in Titan Arena. Careful what paths he cross. A direct cut there from Storm. And the Goya counters at the elbow to the arm. So far, one of NSW's fan favourites here, along with Storm, who's probably one of the most hated, but I doubt he cares what the fans think. Beautiful high cross play there. Goes for cover. This could be it, no? Not quite yet. Wrestling going on, all oh, tilt a wall. Oh no, counters into the Northern Lights. Oh, only a one count of Kozu. Oh, a very vicious elbow from Storm. That can't be good. And a strong kick afterwards. Now, Storm is a light heavyweight class, so he's probably got more strength power than Nagoyan has. But what Nagoyan has is speed and quickness. So he's got to rely on that today. Oh, a small clothesline from Storm. That can't be good. Oh, he's in trouble now. Oh, what a counter. Oh, almost had it there. No, a 
Fresh foot to the corner now, Nago Rivera's got to be really quick on his feet. Nice knife edge top there, frozen back down. Oh, what a drop kick from the ropes. Nicely done. Probably one of my personal favourites here on an SW. Oh, but beats a lariat by Storm. And it looks like he's back in full control. Oh, oh, come on. Picks him up in the gut wrench position. Throws him down with a suplex. Looks like he's learned some amateur wrestling now, Storm. Which is, he's already terrified as it is. Nice hook around by the Goyen. Now doing the Phoenix pose to probably get into the head of his opponent. Uh-oh, he's got caught in a powerbomb position. Can he counter? Yes, he can with a hurricane. Rolls him up, hooks the legs. All counters back. All rolls it back. Oh, that could have gone either way. Tilt a wall. This time connects to that breaker. Goyen clearly sending a message to Ozil Tokamoto, the Incontinental Champion at the ringside there. Oh, but gets caught in a super kick! Maybe a let of emotions play the game here, because now Storm's taking advantage like he did the week before. But the Goyen kicks out. A lot of heart in the Goyen, I'll give him that. But Storm is one of those ruthless, aggressive wrestlers that NSW had. I mean, just look at the Militia Japan faction, full of ruthless wrestlers. Another gut-wrench suplex by Storm. Oh, now they're brawling. Oh, God, this is getting out of hand. And the Goyan clotheslines him out the ring. Oh great, now there's some trash talk in between him and Azo Takamoto. Still keeping his mind on the match. <laughs> oh dear, there's some stairs. That can't be good. Way! <laughs> oh, just use him as a battery ram. That's a good idea. <laughs> I don't think he was expecting that. Now the Goyan has the advantage. Using Storm as a battery ram for Ezra Takamoto. Storm on wobbly legs now. And it looks like the Goyan senses it. Oh, but gets caught in the jawbreaker. That can't be good for the Goyan. Oh, now in the fireman's carry. It's a running Santan combo. Oh. Well, luckily his toe was just touching the ropes there to get out of that pinfall. Great awareness from Kagazu. Oh, but Storm going high risk. That's rare. What's the Goyan? Is he on wobbly legs right now? Oh, leg barrier by Storm. And a Storm cutter, a regular Storm cutter. I think the Goyan's in trouble. Also, I thought shoulder breaker there by Nagoya goes behind, goes for the crucifix pin. Could he get a victory here? Only a one count against his Kogazu. A lot of heart and guts in Nagoya. Now, Irish whipping off from the corner. Jumps over Storm, nicely done. Ducks under a clothesline. Flying elbow to the head. Can he get the victory here? Goes straight on top. Storm looks like he's out of it. Oh no, he's not! I think that super kick might be the final nail in the finishing maneuver. The boy looks like he's unconscious. Is this it? I wonder. And it was. Maybe the Goyan did one move too many. All it took was that counter from Storm to get a victory. And maybe there was a bit of emotions in play when Azriel Tokamoto showed up. But in the end, another victory for the militia of Japan. Let's move on to the next match card.
Derby fans that don't like Thomas Muller, the founder of the Northern Outlaws, the guy recruited Cassius and Ian Newsbeck as part of the Outlaw game, I guess. He's always done nothing but complain. Maybe you need to shave your moustache off. Oh, that's a bad joke, I know. By the way, now is a perfect time to catch up on past episodes of NSW Wrestling. There is a playlist on Azure Dark the 64. Plus, we've got gameplay videos like Ghost of Tsushima. We've even got a few Final Fantasy 7 remakes down there. Honestly, just go through Azure Dark the 64. There's quite some good videos that I hope you enjoy. We're hoping to do more gameplay videos in the future. Also, if you like the content we do, subscribe to Azure Darkness 64 on YouTube for more videos like this or future gameplay videos. We really appreciate the support. If you like what we do, comment, leave a like, that always helps. And we do our best to keep you all entertained as best as possible because we care about entertaining you and we obviously you care about what we do. And that's why we do it. Davidson, an NSW original. 
Kagazu grabbing the belt. It's been redesigned, as you noticed. Ever since Ezra Darkness won it, he redesigned it himself. It's actually a beautiful belt, I'll be honest. But could DC Davidson be the one to dethrone Aswell Darkness? Or oh, a bit of Code of Honor here, very Ring of Honor style. And Kogzu rings the bell. Obviously a lot of respect between these two athletes. But at the end of the day, the championship is on the line. Probably a bit of national pride as well because it's England v Wales here. But Asriel counts himself as an Irishman mainly. And so hard, the lock up here. And the wrist control there by Asriel Darkness goes behind into a wrist lock control. So far, not much brawling between these two. They're very heavy brawlers. Oh, shoulder breaker by DC Davidson. Maybe I spoke too soon. Goes for a ground lock there. Snap suplex by DC Davidson. And now I switch to the corner. And now as a result, it's now starting to brawl. Reverse STO onto the turnbuckle. Will that be enough to keep the title? Nope. And the one count says Kogazu. Don't forget on the main event, we've got the NSW UK Knockouts Championship. Oh, sorry. Knockouts World Championship on the line between Erwin Shaw, the defending champion, and Jackie Yamashita, the challenger. Uh oh. Oh, landslide by DC Davidson. Could that be the one to defront Aswell Darkness? Oh, he counters it. Oh, knee strike. Counters back with a kick. And now picks him up with a fireman's carry again. Is he going for it again? Oh, no. Disaster kick from DC Davidson. Oh, uh, Asriel Darkness struggling to get up. And it looks like, oh, face buster by DC Davidson. Asriel Darkness trying to regroup after the beating he's taking. Again, shoulder breaker, always targeting the arms. Oh, 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 I was going to say, don't scoop slam on the concrete. Yeah, you can't win the match out the ring. You've got to win the match in the ring. Face buster by Ezreal Darkness. Then a back suplex. Nicely done. Goose for cover. Oh, no. That wasn't enough in the end. Using that time to regroup after the beating he's taking. Remember what's on the line. The NSW Celtic Heavyweight Championship. Probably one of the prestigious titles here ever since Wild Thing made it a long title defense. And let's not forget, Azra won the belt off of Wild Thing back on SW Unleash. German suplex by DC Davidson. And now just dragging him to the center of the ring. There might be a title change here. Oh, that's the hurt. Oh, come on. Oh, that's a bit below the belt. Oh, it's to the corner again. DC Davidson in full control, setting him up on the top. This can't be good for either guys. Oh, no. Oh, my God. A ground Captain Hook headlock there. Didn't hold it on for long. The darkness in real trouble. Now going on the mid turnbuckle. What's he got in mind? Oh, misses the center. And now, as will darkness has the chance to regroup. Oh, wait a minute. Discless clothesline incoming. And now he knows he's in full control. Normally, when that lariat hits, he's normally got the upper hand. Counters the drawbreaker though. Oh, oh, wait a minute, Hammerlock. Oh, wait a minute, Larry of his own. Oh, 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 oh. This is some old school wrestling right here. Oh, makes me feel like I'm watching a Jim Duggan match. Oh, he to the corner. Oh, wait a minute, now we're running Bulldog. Nicely done. And now Azrael Darkness in control. 
Deep Sea Davidson looks like he's seeing stars. Oh, misses the lariat, gets caught. Uh oh, and the fireman's carry. Landslide again. And he's set up for something. Gets caught in the counter again. Oh, and he's strike that busted one open. Oh no, darkness effect again. That's it, it's over, surely. Yep. One crucial mistake in the end. This is still NSW Celtic champion. It's that knee strike that led to a DDT. Not many wrestlers kick out of his finisher. And there it is, the darkness effect. Influenced by Raven and Tommy Dreamer. And still your Celtic champion. Don't forget we've got the NSW Knockouts World Championship on the main event. Stay tuned for that. That's going to be a show stealer for sure. see her back but I doubt it'll be the last we see of her and there it is the redesigned NSW Knockouts World Championship Owen Shaw the defending champion and Jackie Yamashita the former UK Knockouts champion I can't wait for this main event this should be good now definitely different style wrestlers here one's a powerhouse one's a striker this should be really good. Already a wrist control there by Erwin Shaw. And a great counter there by Jackie. Oh, it's tight on this one. Oh, trying to wrench on that elbow. But Erwin Shaw escapes and wrist lock control again. Showing her that she's more of a technical master than Jackie is. I was to the corner. Oh, big lariat there by Owen Shaw. Now one thing you've got to be wary of is that Owen Shaw's gladiator boot. If that connects, it's over normally. Great counter the fun and counter. And now brawling away. I'm not sure brawling with Jackie Machine is a good idea. Picks her up in the Skip stand position. Oh, and throws on a turnbuckle pad. That's gonna hurt. Oh, she's not. Well, was not done, but gets caught with a neck break of her own. Now, it's been a long time since we've seen Jackie Machino in this double. Goes for cover and only a one count. So, yeah, this is. She might be a bit match rusty here. A savage kick there from Jackie Yamashita. Oh, has to hurt. Oh, now just mocking, mocking the NSW Knockouts World Champion. But gets caught in the counter with a leg trap there. Counter to the farm and carry. Oh, T-bone suplex there. Well, oh, that definitely throw a wrench in the works. Now Owen Shaw trying to regroup here, and of course this is going to oh, just most stomping, but gets away. Snap their takedown. A drop kick to the shoulder blades, and delivers an elbow drop right to the chest of Owen Shaw. Looks like the NSW World Knockouts Champions in a bit of trouble. Counter to the elbow, misses the lariat. Uh 
Uh-oh, caught the count again. German suplex, nicely done. And now celebrating a little bit. But then again, she's always been a bit cocky in her early career of NSW. And out of the ring she goes. Waiting for Erwin Shaw to get back in the ring. Probably the smart strategy. Don't get drawn out. Well, I say that and then she does it anyway. Counters. Oh, throw to the barricades. Oh. What a suplex the outside that was. Can't win the match out of the ring. Get in the ring. And now Erwin Shaw in full control. This does not look good for the challenger right now. Oh, picks her up with a gut wrench into a German soup. Oh my God, how high did she hoist her? Around here, two counts is Carl to Remember what's on the line. The NSW Knockouts World Championship. And and these two want to be champion of that division. Oh, there's not. Oh! Oh my god, Gladiator Boot, nowhere to go. She was in the corner. Oh my god, how does that not leave a boot print on your skull? That might be it. And somehow Jackie Omashina kicked out. A lot of fighting guts right now, but where is she at? Is it pure instinct at this point? Counters again with a forearm. Oh, oh God, well, that's a bit below the belt. Oh, God, well, that's the one move I don't like Jackie doing. Doesn't matter who you are. Clearly, she wants this championship, quite clearly. I'm amazed Kongs didn't disqualify her. Oh, wait a minute, in the full Nilsson. Oh, that is a high hoist of a full Nilsson. That made Erwin mad. And it looks like Jackie's in real trouble. Throws in a couple of lariats. Misses the clothesline into a power slam. all over the ropes and over the referee. Arbor gets caught. Somersault bomb. Rolls over for a pin. And kicks out of the net too. Great count of the bionic elbow. Kick the gut there. Uh-oh. Going strong and suplex coming. And now goes straight for cover. Two count again, says Kagazu. No one sure can't believe that didn't put her away. Ah, oh, but the end. Gladiator boot again. I doubt she'll kick off, kick out a second time. And it looks like she's going for the cover. And somehow Jackie kicked out. That's two gladiator boots she kicked out of. Last time I checked, this isn't an indie wrestling show. Snap their takedown by Jackie and Machida. Obviously, with the world title on the line, obviously a lot of wrestlers are going to put their bodies on the line just to be champion. And that's what this Knockouts World Championship means to these ladies here, because they all want to be champion of the world. Oh no, now in the, oh god, the Amadillo, yeah, she's tapping out already. I didn't even get a chance to say the move because she tapped out already. And Erwin Shaw, once again, is still your NSW knockout world champion. Well, we knew there was a bit of a ring rust on Jackie Yamashita, but she still gave her all in the match. Kicked out of two gladiator boots. That's unheard of on an SW. I think that made her angrier. But in the end, what a main event it was. Congratulations to our Knockouts World Champion. Okay, don't take it out on Carl And we hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. Stay 
the team.